Welcome back. You're watching HFO TV. Please join me in welcoming Kathy Reynas. Good morning. Thank you, Mark. Um, I have to say from the start, I feel like I threw the short straw uh, following um, Rob's speech. That was just <laughs> incredible and such a, such a great, great passion for what he does. Um, I also have never talked about microhousing in 10 minutes, and so um, we are incredibly passionate about, we do, about what we do. We do build small units. Um, but it's very much geared towards affordability. And so we're going to um, talk about that. Our mission is really to provide affordability that allows for financial freedom for our residents. And so just a little bit about us. We did start three years ago. We're a fairly new company, still in the startup phase. So we still have that starry-eyed, passionate um, feeling about us that we hope that we never lose um, very much focused on small units um, and some student housing. So just for those of you who weren't here a couple of years ago, who in the room would like to guess what we consider to be small? What do you think our average unit size is, just for fun? But louder. 300 square feet, that's close. Our average unit size is just a little bit under 300 at about 270 square feet. Um, so I can tell who was not in the room two years ago because I heard the gas um, and we heard those same gasps a couple of years ago. And so I was trying to think of a way to make this interesting in, um, in 10 minutes. And so what I thought I would do is kind of share with you the things about um, microhousing development that's very similar to any other apartment building, if you will, and then talk about the things that are different uh, which is obviously the size of the units themselves. And so um, what's actually very similar is our funding sources. So our funding sources for our projects, we have um, a number of international investors in our projects. We've got investor groups out of Tel Aviv, uh, Hong Kong, which is non-EB-5 money, but just investor dollars out of Hong Kong. We've got a, a group out of Monaco, um, a group out of Los Angeles, an uh, equity group out of Los Angeles, and then we have some pension fund dollars that are managed out of Denver. So probably very similar from a funding structure to um, most of the other multifamily product out there, and from a debt perspective, very, very similar. So our capital stacks a lot of community banks, um, community bank loans uh, in our portfolio funding our projects. Um, so from that perspective, very, very similar product. Our uh, renters are probably similar. You know, they're 19 to 70, 80 years old, probably somewhere in that age range. Um, probably the one thing that is a little different about um, our residents themselves, um, they do average probably 29 or 30. Um, however, we don't have very many double occupancies, given that they're 270 rooms. Uh, very few married people, and if they were married when they moved in, they probably weren't married when they moved out. <laughs> so you can see we are very focused on the millennial generation. Um, I picked Portland for the reasons that were talked about earlier, uh, with 55% of the renters being millennials. So, just kind of a quick transition of microhousing um, here, actually in Portland and up in Seattle. Uh, we have right now projects in process as far south as Salem and as far north as Everett, Washington. So um, you can see it has been really quite the evolution where the first version of the product was not very well thought out. Um, got the microwave sitting on top of the not very nice refrigerator. Uh, and as you move through the transition and, and the evolution of microhousing in the top corner, you can see it really is just a very small studio space. And if you were here a couple of years ago, uh, you know that I referenced the space missing out of the middle of the room as wasted space. I now call it really just dead space in the room. It's that space that nobody really uses. It's the space you walk through. Uh, that's the space that we've taken out of the units and shrunk them, and that, of course, has allowed us to 
um, get more units on a site, which has allowed us to lower the rents. The thing that is unique, obviously, our, our financing structure is identical. Our residents um, are very, very similar, minus the non-married ones. Um, but the units themselves are very similar to your typical studio apartment here in the Portland market. They're just very intentional in the appointment of the finishes. And so you've got one wall that is a, a, um, a kitchen and a storage wall. We call that our sort of our utility wall. And then you've got a bed and they come furnished. So what we have here, this is a rendering of our Ankeny project. This one's over on 13th and Ankeny. Um, this permit is in processing right now, and so we expect to pick it up here in the next week. Um, that's a Murphy bed, and so good old-fashioned Murphy beds have come back, only this is a higher-end Murphy bed, so very much designed for a micro unit. Uh, the mattresses themselves are thicker. They're not the little six inch that you get on the hideaway bed. They're a full, uh, nice mattress. Um, and then there's storage units built around the Murphy beds themselves with a convertible table that functions as a coffee table, a dining room table, and a desk. And so um, we have one in our office. Every now and then when we're bored, we play with it. Um, but it it's just allows you to live in 270 square feet. But, you know, I say it feels like you live in 500. It really feels like you live in 350, but whatever. So... <laughs> This actually is a rendering of our uh, Yam Hill project, which is under construction right now. And this particular building is smaller. It's our smallest building. It's got 30 units in it. 26 of those units are lofted. And um, that means that there's a mezzanine loft, a short loft that sits over the bathroom and the kitchen. Um, it allows you to move the bedroom upstairs and have that enormous living space <laughs> downstairs. And um, it's just a really great, uh, really cool, edgy space um, in the Goose Hollow neighborhood. So it sits about a block off Burnside. We back up against the uh, new nude billboard, for those of you who saw that on the news. So if you're looking for reference as to where this building might be. So this is the Yam Hill Project. You can see that one is under construction. Uh, it's 30 units. Again, our smallest project. These are all of our Portland projects. So we have six projects in process in Portland right now. Um, looking to continue filling in in the Portland market with a couple of uh, additional um, projects as we move forward. Um, next to that, you have one that's in the Northwest District. It is on 16th and Marshall. It's where the old Slab Town was. Sorry for those of you who used to love going to the Slab Town. Um, that's 128 units. That is our first venture into a one bedroom and two bedroom micros. And so the two-bedroom micro is about, my partner in the back, Josh Scott, 600 square feet, 550 square feet. Um, so it really is expanding just the um, single studio micro into a very small two-bedroom uh, micro unit. And then there's some one-bedroom micros in this one as well. Then you have on uh, Fourth and Grant, that one's 108 units. That one, as you know, borders the Portland State campus. Um, very close to the uh, link rail that goes down to OHSU. It's not a student housing facility, but we do anticipate that we will have a large number of students in that particular project. This one um, is just probably a month out of permitting. Um, it's 108 units, uh, retail on the ground floor, and um, those units are 46 of the lofted units, and the remaining units are studios. Next to this one is our 13th and Ankeny project. It is 88 units. They are all studios. And then our last two in Portland, we have one on Sandy Boulevard and then another one just north of where the Slab Town used to be on the other corner, 16th and Marshall. Um, and so the thing I would say kind of in closing is the thing that makes us unique that we didn't talk about. I showed you the renderings, the size of the units, again, about 270 square feet. We look to establish our rents. I loved your quote. It's a numbers game. So we start with an average uh, studio apartment rent in any, in any um, city that we go into. So we gather all the rent comps. We look at what the average studio rent is. And then we run our pro forma. We discount those rents 30%. Um, our rents include utilities. They include the furnishings. So we start with that as a number. 
and then we do everything else and we back and we back into it and we say can we make this work at a discount to the current rents at 30 percent um, if we really like the location we might try and discount it 25 percent to make the pro forma work but we're looking to be at that 25 to 30 percent discount of the typical <laughs> studio apartment in the area where we're building and so that is um, that is our passion um, that typically puts us somewhere in the 60 to 80 percent AMI depending upon the area um, which allows us to provide an affordable um, answer really for workforce housing that's that's who we're looking for we're looking for the young professional that's just come out of college and has got you know tens of thousands of dollars in student debt we're looking for the barista um, who wants to move away from home but doesn't want four roommates. Um, somebody who wants to be independent but doesn't have the ability to do that unless they're living 30 miles out of town and they're commuting an hour every day into work. And so that's our resident. That's our passion. If anybody knows anybody who might be interested in living in Goose Hollow, that building is opening here. Um, we're pre-leasing in January. Come see us. Go see Craig. Uh, he's our property manager on that building. So, thank you. Our entire office specializes in multifamily real estate, making HFO the largest multifamily brokerage in the Pacific Northwest. Your success is our passion. Build your legacy with HFO. Call 503-241-5541 or visit our website at hfore.com for more information.